This is Instant Replay Live, and we're going into the darkest dungeon. Nick's going to be playing on this adventure, and I will be sitting back watching and laughing as Nick suffers and suffers. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a little different having me behind the uh, controls here. It's definitely different, though, from Super Meat Boy, where Super Meat Boy was kind of a stress attack. This game, you kind of relish in the oh. in defeat. Like, What did it do? Oh, it, it, you can just kind of... I don't know. I don't know. Um... But this game kind of, like, it does something for me that's really exciting, which is you should be able to just, like, press enter. <laughs> is that the, the controls of this confounded game have bested me? Oh, there we go. Yeah, anyways. Um, <laughs> even as you're losing in this game, it is entertaining. Like, right, yeah, that's kind of part of it. The way characters are going crazy and... Um, you kind of have to, I think at the beginning of the game, actually, before you go to the main menu, it says, you're going to die a lot. Yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, I, <clears throat> I'm good with that. Like, there are plenty of games that I am, am totally down with just dying and that being part of the game. FTL is, you oh, know, yeah. a oh, favorite. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm good with that. I guess it's, it's kind of comparable to a roguelike, but you have, like, parties that you build up, so yeah. you kind of go in and out, in and out, in and out. I think I'm I'm hesitant about it just because I'm I'm behind the controller for the first time, yeah. right? Like that's very different for us. Sure. <laughs> it's either been co-op versus or um, or just you. It hasn't been just me yet, has it? Right. Even even Child of Light, you were helping yeah, it was considerably. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. So. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Forget how you feel. <laughs> what? It takes more to make this. We juggle variables, we the parallel portion to carry so, the load. So was I supposed to pay attention to this cutscene at all? Um, you you were just... The, the ride here was kind of hellish, that's all. Oh, I see. And okay. uh, it crashed, I think. But, oh, that's a shame. Anyways. Um, High-speed cart crash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I've played everything that the Early Access has to offer. Um, there's a couple bosses. Are you sure there's been no updates since you last played? There have been a few, actually, but no added bosses. They added some more classes. Um, uh but that's and they've added some variations to the color schemes of the characters to give some more variety because um, you'll get some of the same classes and they mostly look the same, but the colors. So you can either just uh, click for the, to the right to drag it around. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, combat. Yeah, and combat is basically <laughs> there are eight positions on the map. Um, so your abilities you can only use them from a certain position for, from your character if you're in the front or in the back, and they target certain positions. Those little dots. Oh, what a I like that quick cut. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get a stunning blow. Keep this guy from hitting us back. That seems reasonable, right? I love how they pull the like. It's it's just it's just pictures. It's just you know still pictures. They're not really animated so much. Yeah, well, a shake it's them. a form of animation. I mean, yeah. what is animation but a bunch that's of? That's fair. That's fair. But it's you know it's very minimal. But the the zoom in does so much for it. You know. Yeah, it's true. Um, it definitely works. It's fun. And the art style is just beautiful as well. Very in, like in Mike Mignola, like yeah, exactly. Hellboyish. Yeah. Um, oh, let's pick up his gold. It evokes a very perfect feel for this kind of setting. I think. Mm -hmm. I love the thick blacks that are outlining everything. Exactly. Yeah, those deep contours are, and deep contours and shades are enough to make it feel like a grim world just right off the mm -hmm. bat. Absolutely. Find objects. And so here's the other really awesome thing. You're like you're looting right here, but you'll be looting like chests or like you know graves or all these things, and it'll increase the stress of your characters if they find nothing or if it's trapped. Oh, um, if they find nothing, it stresses them out. Uh, you need to back up and click on the door. Uh, okay. Yeah. What did I? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, that's your stress meter ticking up. The longer you're out, the longer, the more stress you get. Just being huh. out stresses you out. Um, being out stresses you out. I mean, well, it's, it's kind of like the going deeper and deeper into the dungeon or into the whatever. Um, oh, I have to click on him. I see. Okay. So uh, he's aiming. He's buffed. What? Was that so, a crit for one? <laughs> it was. I think so. Most of like, <laughs> the area effect attacks don't do too much damage, so. Okay. All right. Uh, because you don't. You'll go through long hauls where you're not doing a lot of, like, you don't get to oh. heal very much throughout a dungeon. So, uh, multiple battles, one damage at a time stacks up. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, 16. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, 
How will we actually make it into the actual dungeon before an episode's oh, up? Oh, probably. Yeah, this is just a tutorial, and this is the end of the tutorial right here. Okay. But before you get to go to the tutorial, you get to look at your city that you get to build up. Oh, um, you actually are involved in the city yeah, too. Yeah, you get to like upgrade. Do you want to upgrade your blacksmith or your sanitarium or your church? Interesting. I didn't know it had that element to it. You you can upgrade your hero recruiting like carriage. There's a lot. Of, yeah. Uh, it starts off really minimal though. You have to like I, do the dungeon a couple times to get more stuff. Okay. Um, Keep working on the big guy, I guess. This is um, it's really thrilling gameplay, I'm sure. <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> to I, watch me figuring out like click and then <laughs> I guess I'll click again. <laughs> well, it's it's. I think it's nice because I mean we'll we'll follow as it gets more involved. But yeah, it's still really kind of visually appealing, I think. Oh yeah, no, I think Even it is at a simple level. It's pretty, but I think more just like the me figuring it out on the spot is sure. a little bit. Less than well, so Joe, I can tell you, that just real quick, that stuns are really, really good. Yeah, I've been um, stunning as much as I could. And then dots are really, really good. Um, Do any of my guys have a heal for this guy? He's, he's not starting, yet. starting to look rough. Yeah. Um, Luckily you get a healer guys. when you get back to, when you get to town. Handling the business up front. Oh, okay, good. He did get yeah. stunned. Okay, if, you can, uh, if you can use that, like you can lock somebody out entirely. Yeah. Nice. Sun seems to be pretty sweet. Blightstone plus ten percent blight skill chance. Have you um before yeah uh, yeah, have you watched oh, no. the amazing screw on head? Yes. Oh, oh so man. good. It's I mean that and um, there were a couple of cartoons that came out. Oh, like I all... click on the top left. Quest oh. complete. Oh okay. A couple of cartoons that came out around the same time. Um, amazing screw on head was one of them, which was just an incredible like. What if Hellboy was also slightly more pulpier? <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah. hard to even say that, but and animated. Uh, well, Hellboy was animated too, but um, do I? Robot I don't have to. Servant of uh, Abraham okay. Lincoln saves the day from Cthulian monsters. Kind yeah, of thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this by the way, you didn't have to click on that. I um, now have syphilis. Yeah. So the the mechanic there is you can what? choose at the end. You also get a bonus though. The last you last don't get a bonus for syphilis, Joe. No, 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 no. I know, but you get to. <laughs> but if you, if you don't click on the mask, you don't get anything. Sometimes you'll only get good things. Sometimes you'll get bad thing. Only get bad things, or sometimes you get like two, like that. Yeah. So it's um, it's kind of a risk you have to measure because yeah. these characters you're gonna want them to get good. I wonder how Dismas got syphilis out in the woods with those bandits. We don't want to talk about them. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you look, I think they already have a couple like like faults that they come with, a couple of flaws. I'm pretty sure Reynalt has um, God-fearing, which means the only way he can reduce stress when he's in town is by praying. Um, and you have to, like, in order to, like, reduce someone's stress level, you have to take him out of a mission. Stress means that they have to, or reducing stress means they have to sit out for a mission and be okay. at a church or at the brothel. How do or something I... Like that. Oh, I was going to say, the other cartoon that came out around the same time as the pilot for Screw on Head that never mm -hmm. got made into a full show was Korgoth of Barbaria. Oh, yeah. That, that was, so, was good. so good. Hit the red X on the top right of the caretaker goals. Oh, okay. So screw yeah. you, caretaker. Get help where you may. On any screen in the game, press and hold H to see the contextual help. No, thank you. <laughs> so really, the only thing I think of note right now is the stagecoach, which lets you get new heroes. New heroes will come in every time you come back from a mission. Okay. Oh, I like the face of this bird mask, man. Yeah, Plague Doctor. And corpses. All will find their way There's to us now that the road a is lot of pausing for me and figuring out what I'm I'm doing at this stage. There's a lot of like if, if people had if I did have a face cam, which I never will, my <laughs> eyes are just kind of like <laughs> like all stressed out and big and like focusing on everything at once, trying to keep up in time. There's um, definitely a lot going on in this game. How much uh, does it cost? Even though the gameplay I don't is pretty simple. The is there a cost There's associated? No cost. You can in recruit infinitely. Okay, but um. The problem is, every time you recruit, they start off at level zero. Uh, well, we're low now, so it might as well, right? Sure, yeah. But um, there's, there's <clears> gonna, when, when you're at like the high-difficulty levels, or high-difficulty dungeon entrances, and you've, you've lost a hero because they've just become too flawed to be useful, mm. and you have to switch them out for a new like green rookie, Yeah, it's pretty damning. It's really, really hard to, get, to keep, have them survive and level up. All right. Well, let's take a look at this Blightstone. Is there someone I should be putting that on? 10% Blight skill chance. I don't think so. I mean, it would go on the Witch Doctor if you did, because he has Blight skills, probably. You can right-click on him. I don't even know stuff. which one's a Witch Doctor. I assume that's the Plague Doctor? Uh, Plague Doctor, yeah, as I meant. Oh, okay. Um, his skills are on the top right. 
Oh, what is thing. this? If I hit this, is it gonna give? Uh, him? No, no, that's oh, okay. but that's his quirks that he has right I see. now. What he already has. He's got faded, slow reflexes, and off guard, so and hard noggin. Boy, this is this is more detailed than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a lot to it's learn. Good. On the spot, where I don't know what you you said a bunch of Those words. Those are the at skills me. right there that he has. But how combat. you just knew them off the top of your head? Yeah. Okay. They, because the classes only have potentially four of those eight skill of those seven skills, I should say. Yeah, seven. Um, so why would I not give him the thing? You could, but it also comes with a penalty. It reduces his max health by five percent. Mm -hmm. And Which most items that aren't that aren't rare five will this, do that. No, it would be one at this point. Um, I one or two tend not to use them, but it, I might be wrong. I, I don't know. Yeah, you're wrong. Do it. All right, I did it. Um, All right, Renald says he's in no condition to go out. So how do we take care of Renald? No, no, no. You want to take him out. He's only at one stress bubble. Oh, well, screw you, Renald, and your they're always going to be complaining and saying they can't do shit. Whining. I would say just yeah. That's you don't have any dead ones. No. We'll end right. Just embark. Covered in the embark. Covered here we go. <clears throat> that's the end of an episode. Should we? Uh, should we carry it on for one more mission, or should we go? Uh, well, well, we should enter the dungeon. I think the dungeon should be like a full episode, so let's go ahead and we'll, see, we'll enter the dungeon next time on Instant Replay Live. All right, sounds good. Come back. Tell us what cartoons you wish were made that never were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a really specific question. So also you could just, you know, wax lyrical about any cartoons that you want to talk about. Or you could just leave a completely unrelated comment. It'd be fine too. Please bring back Samurai Jack. Oh, good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo. it. Plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?